We're going to have a look at the weekly revision tasks in this video. Now, just in case you haven't seen the questions or the worksheets on these, we might have a look at them just to begin with. Now, we'll go up the top here and we're going to switch to student view. Now, you can see the tab here for the weekly revision tasks and they're available from first grade through to year 10. Now, we might just choose a year level first. We'll go over here and have a look at a year 7 task. We'll click on the weekly revision tab here and we can see that these are split up into four terms and each term has got eight revision sheets. Now, most people kick them off in the second week of each term. Now, we'll have a look at one in term one here and we might just have a look at this first one. Now, you can see we've got access to the online questions here as well as this PDF worksheet. And first of all, we'll have a look at the worksheet. Now, we're going to go over here and we'll open this PDF in a new window. They just tend to be a little bit easier to work with. Now, the worksheets themselves are a pretty simple process, really. If we have a look at this one here, we can see there's two pages of questions. And those questions, they're a mix from any strand and any topic across the curriculum. Now, it's all linked to the national curriculum there. So, you know, your kids are getting a really good mix of regular revision every week. Now, some people are choosing to print these worksheets off and get their kids to work on the sheet. If you're able to do that, that's a fantastic idea. Otherwise, at the very least, I recommend that you get your kids to make sure they're answering the questions either in their workbook or on paper. Now, we'll just switch back to the questions. And this process here is for the kids. Now, all they need to do is use their answers on their worksheet to help them answer the questions here. So, we're looking for the composite numbers. We'll just choose those three options there. And then when you've finished each question, just click Submit. Now, we'll go back up the top here and we'll switch back to Parent View. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to set these revision sheets as a regular ongoing task for your kids. We might go over here to Xavier and we'll set the task for him. So we'll click on View Profile and you'll see we've got this option up here to add a weekly revision set. Now we've got two options at this stage. We can choose to set these tasks for the remaining weeks of the school year or we can choose to set the task for the entire school year. Now at this stage we're part of the way through the year so we might just leave that first box checked there. Now as we move down here, you'll notice that this box is already ticked for you and I strongly recommend you leave that exactly as it is. This is fantastic. You're going to love this one. This means that you get a task report emailed to you each week when these revision sheets are due. So no more worrying about due dates and chasing kids up straight away in your inbox every week. You get a detailed report showing exactly how your kids have gone in these tasks. Fantastic. Now down here you can choose whether you check this box here or not, hide year level from student. Now I tend to find that this one's really useful if you've maybe got a kid who's struggling a bit with their work and you've decided to give them some revision sheets maybe from a lower year level and you don't want to discourage them from their work. Now I'll uncheck that one for the moment for Xavier, we won't worry about that. Just remember though before we move on, go up the top here and make sure you save weekly revision set. Now if we go over here to the latest tasks, We'll click on this Upcoming Tasks tab and we can see here Xavier, his weekly revision sets all set up, ready to go for him. Now we'll take a moment to have a look at the reports you can get for these as well. We'll go over here, Jess has been working on these for a while and we'll click on View Profile. Now we'll have a look at this weekly revision tab here. Now we can see here that Jess is working her way through Term 1 in these sheets. She's finished five of them so far. If we have a look over here on the right, we can see the marks she got for each of the sheets down there. And this is colour coded to make life really easy for you. Basically blue means she got a question right, red means she got a question wrong. Pretty simple. Now there's a feature here that I really want to show you. I think you're going to love this one. If we get our cursor and hold it over any question here, you'll see that it gives us a quick view of the question. We can read it really easily. Now this is excellent if you want to get an idea if there's any topics or any question types that your kids are having trouble with. So if we look over here, for example, at this one, this is a question comparing the area of different shapes. Now if we move up here, see almost the same question that Jess got wrong again. So maybe she needs to go back in and review some of her work on area. Well all in all, I think you're going to find this a pretty simple process to follow, but also a fantastic tool to use to help your kids. So I recommend you get in there, follow that really simple process to set this up as a regular task for your kids, and get them working on them straight away.